Hi, welcome to our masterclass. Before the grower starts to grow, he has to make a lot of decisions. For example, which substrate do I choose? And according to which water strategy I want to water my plants? In this video, we're going to explain more about dry inert substrates, which has to be watered according to the hydroponic way of watering, which means with a lot of drain. And because of that, we have to recirculate the water all over again. In theory, the drier the substrate, the more often you have to water. For example, aeroponic way of growing, that means without any substrate, you have to water 24 seven. Nevertheless, compared to a run to waste system, we cannot steer the moist content. We always have to stay as wet as possible. So it limits you a little bit in steering the plant if it doesn't grow how you want. Because you grow not in a substrate, but actually in the water of the substrate, the nutrient is very important. You have to give the plant exactly what it needs. Canna made A, canna, aqua, vega for the vegetative phase and a florist for the flowering phase. But you always have to measure the EC and the pH 24 seven. Also a warning, because the reservoir is in your grow room, often your temperature becomes too high of the water. Check it and if necessary, buy yourself a water chiller to cool it down to prevent it against diseases like pythium. On the other hand, it's a beautiful system. Everything goes automatically. Of course, the eye of the grower depends if you're going to get that maximal potential yield you expect from that system. If this is a little bit too high for you, have a look at one of our other videos about how to choose my substrate.